Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have What Are Their True Intentions in Love? And today, you guys, uh, we have another cool reading. I feel like we do. Here's the Ace of Wands showing up right away. And here's a little angel over here, Sagittarius. So you've been behaving right. You must have got what you wanted for Christmas, right? Or for Hanukkah or whatever else you were, you know, trying to get presents for. Just kidding, right? <laughs> uh, but this is, uh, this is a cool reading. And today we fixed the, uh, the audio. We feel like we have, I think the, uh, the mic was like not entirely plugged in. Yeah. And, uh, this is the good, uh, the great thing about comments and feedback, right? You can, uh, you know, see what you're doing wrong. Right. And what you're doing right. Of course, uh, we have to be positive. We do. And in this reading, Sagittarius is judgment and they have it spelled wrong because I used to have a shorthand teacher. Yeah. That's how long ago this was. You guys, you're like, what? Shorthand, what? And so they spelled it wrong here. It do, it, you can spell it both ways. You can, but it really doesn't have an E. And I remember I had this little uh, teacher named Miss Dinning, and she, she must have been 80. And uh, she was kind of a tough old lady, uh, but she was fair. Yeah. And so she was a good teacher, especially for uh, public school. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like her only agenda was to teach us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but this judgment here is here's all these kids and these people, these grown, you know, these adults are walking away from the coffins <clears throat> and the angels, she's kind of like leaving. She already came and, you know, she blew the horn and she declared, uh, her, her truth, right? Uh, because judgment is truth, right? It is, but this is, somebody who's walking away and they're never looking back and they've been reborn, <clears throat> right? This is a rebirth. Not only does somebody want a rebirth with you, Sagittarius, but they have, they're being reborn. They are right. And so I feel like you got to give them a, you might want, you might have to like kind of throw them a bone Sagittarius, right? You might. And, uh, I say this because this nine of cups, this is generosity. Uh, and this is from this, uh, what is it? I forget the name of the, 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 uh, the wildwood tarot, which is, yeah, it's a wild ride that tarot deck. Cause it's super deep, right? But today we have this card, the nine of cups or vessels. And here's the man he's, he's meditating, right? Which, you know, definitely a good reminder to meditate, right? He's over this cauldron and all these cups are here. Uh, and you know, he's in his alpha state. That's what meditation is. And, uh, you know, this talks about somebody who is going through an awakening and they realize compassion. So it's like they have this wisdom, uh, and then they start to show compassion. Somebody's sorry for what they've done because they, I feel like they've waken up, woken up and they feel like, wow, I was really sleeping. Like I was really immature and a low viber possibly no digs on anybody, but it does look like somebody was in that energy and they're not anymore. And that's the most important thing. It's not the past. No, it's always, you know, uh, it's not the problems. It's finding solutions for the problems, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. It's not that somebody might have a lot of bills. It's basically, uh, finding, you know, the solutions, right? Uh, having enough, you know, money to pay those bills, right? You always look at the positive side, the upside. This is what we have to do because, uh, your self-conscious listens. So if you start mentioning all these negative words and, you know, blippity blip about that and blippity blip about those bills or whatever, uh, you're just going to attract more of that into your life, right? So somebody has woken up here and now they have so much compassion and love. So we start with the star child. Yeah. And let's see what that's about because these are the new moon cards, right? Mm -hmm. This is moon magic. Really interesting about this uh, deck though. It must be super corporate because there's nobody's name on this deck. And I'm like, what? Yeah, I don't really like that. I like, you know, uh, when, you know, because I, I feel like just, you know, maybe no artist really wrote this, which is annoying, right? Yeah, did you guys? I'm just talking about oh, Marie Bruce. Here she is. Thank you, Marie. And so, you know, she should be putting her name on stuff, right? Like I told my daughter, you have beautiful art, you know, why isn't it all over your house? right? So let's get into it, Sagittarius. You could be saying I've had enough of that, right? <laughs> let's see what uh, the star child uh, talks about. And, you know, here's this, uh, here's this person 
and placing the big star up in the sky. Yeah, this is beautiful, right? And this is guidance, protection, and shield. And the guidance here is by the universe, right? That's why, uh, you know, he or she's holding the star, right? And so this is why we have the nine of vessels here. It's an awakening and judgment as well. So somebody feels protected by the universe. It's like, wow, I, this is very cool because some people don't believe in, <clears throat> in spirituality, right? Which sounds kind of funny, believe in spirituality because it's, it's a belief system basically uh, in the universe. And so, you know, uh, but now that they believe, they feel the protection. It's kind of a catch-22 a little bit, right? Or I feel like it is. Mm -hmm. And so you are a cosmic child, Sagittarius, of the universe, and you have stardust within you. Okay, I always call it pixie dust, right? And that must be the child in me, right? <laughs> As such, you are protected by universal energy and higher powers, you see? Know that you will always come through difficult times with a good grace. And this is uh, why meditation is so important, you guys. Yeah, meditation provides protection for yourself. It does. It's the best way to say it. Without all these other, you know, uh, you can benefit. Uh, it's really good for you. Uh, it'll do, it'll be great. Or, you know, it's just really, it provides protection. <laughs> and that's what somebody knows here, right? They do. Let's see what Esbat is about. And, uh, you know, some type of uh, word here, of course, right? Esbat. Let's see what Esbat is. Uh, mm hmm. Could be maybe, you know some type of word to see here we don't we're not, we would just be kind of guessing right we don't want to do that and this is ritual awakening and grounded you see this is what i mean right next to judgment and as i said this is a different judgment so uh or i i implied here right because they're they're not in the cop they're not just waking up right you know uh where the you know the angel wakes them up and they said, why'd you wake me up? I need my beauty sleep. No, it's not like that. They woke up and these people are walking away, right? And they're all holding hands here and they're never looking back. That's the whole point here. And none of them are. They're like, wow, we're going to a new place. It's a place of awakening. And when, you know, they show these people walking away, it's really showing that all I believe in is the future. Like the past is almost like a lie or something like that. Because within this awakening is, I'm not looking back. So somebody had an awake, your person had an awakening in this reading, Sagittarius, and they are obsessed with making this happen. I say that because here's the nine of wings. Yeah. And we're not talking about, you know, buffalo wings, Sagittarius. We're not. We're talking about the nine of butterflies here, also known as the nine of swords, right? Uh, this is the true love, the true path, something, true love deck, uh, one of those, right? But here's obsession. And this means that it's not that they're obsessed and they're crazy and they live around the corner and you're like, oh my goodness, right? Uh, I need to call up my, you know, my ex to help me out here. No, it's more, I'm obsessed with making this come true. Like this, I really want this and it's fine because it's not all craziness, right? You know, we can't, it's not all crazy obsession. It's not right. Here's judgment. And because they have walked away from something that they, I feel like your person left something. And so this is why it's so important for them also for this to work out. Like I've changed my whole life. Right. And that's, you know, a big deal. Yes, it is. And whatever that is, it could be an ending. The death cards here, your person might've ended something. And so here's the queen of pentacles showing up. The peacock is here. She's kind of the regular peak, uh, queen of pentacles, right? Uh, but this is about beauty for sure. It is, uh, because of the, the peacock. Uh, I didn't know they had white peacocks, but it's fine. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, I'm not a zoologist or, you know, a bird expert, right? No, I'm not. Uh, but she's sitting here in, you know, kind of like in the meadow, just like, you know, the empress, but this is a very nurturing energy and it's a very uh kind of building energy like let's work together and yeah this uh if this is a person it could be an earth sign but it can be somebody who wants to build with you and they're reliable yeah they are mm -hmm. so here is the nine of cups as i said this is generosity this is somebody who woke up here and is meditating to make their wish come true 
right? Yeah, I'm going to stop this video and sit and meditate, Sagittarius, because I want my dream to come true too, right? <laughs> we have the Eight of Bows, which is the Eight of Wands. And this is hearth fire. And these people all sit together in camaraderie, right? And so, <clears throat> and you know, the hearth fire is uh, a place where they sit together and they talk about, you know, their wishes and they celebrate each other. It's kind of like a round table or, you know, it's kind of a, it's just a bunch of friends getting together, but, you know, they, they cheer each other on. I'm not sure if this is actually going on, but I feel like this person sees this this way. Like you two are kind of around this hearth fire and you're toasting each other and there's passion because there's bows here and there's inspiration. And these people are, you know, uh, they're talking about, hey, you know, did that happen for you? Did you get that? Oh, yeah, you might be able to do this, uh, you know, with so-and-so uh, if you do this. Or just, you know, something like that. What have you learned this, you know? What have you learned since the last time I saw you? Uh, is this, Can I help you with something? Do you need adv advice, my friend? Things like that. Somebody feels like you are like a friend, and that this is very warm and inspiring. It is. Uh, let's look at the eight of bows. Mm -hmm. Or the eight of wands. Mm -hmm. And this is a hearth fire gives warmth and light in the deep midwinter. Yeah, we're in midwinter. We are. Right? I feel like it started November 20th somewhere. At least in, nor in the northern hemisphere, right? Warmth of life, love, and friendship are shared generously. You see? There is a sincere desire for celebration, security, and harmony shared with companions and kindred sp spirits. This person thinks that you are like kin, right? Yeah, and kin, uh, it's not a word we use in California. No, we don't. Um, uh, but, you know, my grandmother, who, you know, she, she left Brazil and went to live in Louisiana, and uh, I'm sure they were using that word back in the day, right? And, you know, kin is like when you think, is really family. But this person thinks, it, and it also, you know, uh, the root is kin, possibly here, but uh, I'm pretty sure it is. But, you know, another word, kindred, is the same thing. It implies that uh, whoever feels like family to you is kind. It doesn't have to be your family, right? You could be saying, uh, this is my sister, and they're, they're not really related to you, right? This is your soul sister, things like that, right? somebody from your soul family or, you know, and that's what this kind of is right here with a hearth fire. And this talks about hope leads to the attainment of innermost dreams, desires, and security, fueling your soul with belief in yourself, your values, and natural justice. To commune with a close fellowship of friends and family, tested and loyal to a common moral code, belief, or way of life brings a blessing. Somebody feel, this person, Sagittarius, feels that they want what you want. That's what this reading is. Yeah, that's why the, these people are walking away. They're like, I don't care about the past anymore. And here we have the Nemesine. And this talks about somebody from the past, usually. It talks about remembering something. I feel like this person next to the hearth fire, they remember you as being like, like kin, like a friend. <clears throat> and warming their heart. Yeah. And so here's the obsession. So they are obsessed with coming forward. They are. Let's have a quick look at obsession in this particular deck. Wow, we're at 13 minutes. We are. OMG. Right? You could be going, God. Um, let's see what we have here. Let's just see what they say here, which is the nine of wings. Mm-hmm. And this is, uh, in the upright, this talks about no. OMG. Take time to confront and cope with an obsession, either yours or or that of another person. Fixating on a particular outcome can derail a new or existing relationship by producing it in you or your partner, boring patterns of thinking, speaking, and acting. For me, this is somebody who's walking away from somebody. That's what this card is, I believe. It could be, too, that your person is having memories of when they were, like, possibly, like, mean to you or they turned you down. Somebody could be obsessed with your person walking away because here's the death card and here's the 10 of wands. Thoughtlessness, cynicism, or an overly judgmental nature may also result. Disillusionment about, disillusionment is disappointment 
about true love, if not dealt with, can lead to compulsion, paranoia, or physical illness. Yeah, somebody here is depressed, I believe. Adequate sleep and meditation can reduce obsessing over endless doubts and fears. Yes, it can. I've been trying to tell people that. Professional counseling can help you act appropriately and heal. Somebody here is getting left behind. They are because this person thinks you're kin. That's really what it is here. Yeah. And so for some, it is that. And so here we have Sagittarius in your challenge is the Ace of Wands. You want a new opportunity with this person. You're, you have the Ten of Wands on your mind, the Death card, and the Nine of Swords. If you know this person is coming, it looks like you do, but you could be saying to yourself, uh, I feel like this person's carrying a major burden about ending something, ending whatever they're ending or transforming this with you. But there's a real ending here because of the card we just read, Judgment, Never Looking Back, and this Ten of Wands and the Death card. They're both completions. And so is the Nine, but it's somebody who is kind of moving, like dealing with it the best they can. What you want, Sagittarius, is the King of Wands. That's you. Uh, and here is the couple hugging or like yeah the couple is on the uh the stone or the statue that kind of sits right in back of you here this is what you're hoping for and then we have the queen of cups is somebody you could be uh you could be fearing you could actually uh but here is the owl it doesn't have to be a water sign here's the owl on the stone and here is the mother with child here. Maybe your person is married to somebody. And, you know, it could be for some. But you, uh, you, it looks like you're fearing or doubting that this person will not gain wisdom. Because here is the owl. And there's major wisdom here with judgment. And this nemesine talks about somebody gaining their wisdom. But it's, it's from something from the past. Like some type of memory or, you know whoever's coming in this reading is like they first of all went through an awakening which gave them uh, a lot of you know knowledge spiritual knowledge but there's something from the past that happened here I feel like it's just the fact that it's next to the hearth fire uh, card not heart fire hearth which is really kind of the same but <coughs> it's next to this card of camaraderie and friendship, and warmth, and kin, kin, kindred spirits. This person feels like you are a kindred. They think you're a good person, Sagittarius, and they feel like you're going to build with them. I'm pretty sure here, and this is why they are trusting their judgment here to come forward, and I feel like ask you for forgiveness, most likely. And here they have judgment, I mean, the lovers, I beg your pardon, the knight of cups. What's on their mind is the three of wands. This person's coming. And they set sail already. I feel like they have, right? Yeah, I keep thinking of that song, Set Sail With Me, Atlantis. If you haven't heard it by the Isley Brothers, you're missing out. In fact, if you haven't heard the Isley Brothers ballads, you're missing out. Yeah, for sure. Knight of Swords and the challenge for them. They have to take some fast action here. It's possible they feel like too much time's going by. Here's the Ace of Wands above it, both in the challenge here. This person wants this, Ace of Wands. Three of Pentacles is showing up in the desire. They hope that things are going to work out with you, and they could be turning their back right here. What's on their mind is Three of Wands, right, which is, you know, set sail with me, but it's also, it could be turning your back. That's what the man's doing. He's focused on setting sail here. Or having his ships come in, however you want to see it, but you know. And here's the Knight of Cups with it and uh, the lovers. This person has already chosen you. Yeah, Sagittarius, because you're kin, right? Mm -hmm. Child, right? <laughs> and here's the star in their fear and their doubt. So they're afraid here that things aren't going to work out with you guys. Yeah, that's what they're afraid of. Mm-hmm. So we're going to uh, go to the extended. We're going to have an extended on your person, Sagittarius, because this is pretty clear here. 
let's get a uh, one card here on why you are kind of afraid of this queen of wand queen of cups or doubting knight of swords i i mean page sorry guys and so you're like you're wondering if this person has awakened here with this wisdom card with the queen because this this queen of cups talks about wisdom and love because here's the owl and when we then we see the mother and the child here underneath this is like you're wondering are they trusting their divine feminine that's what you're wondering here like they they won't come or i'll, I'll never have this if they haven't w woken up and they've awakened sagittarius yeah mm -hmm. four of pentacles yeah see you have some type of doubt if they don't wake up here uh and find their spirituality or maybe realize here that what they've done was wrong in the past or both. Or realize that you're really this kindred, like you're kin to them. Yeah, you're family to them. You're their tribe. They have, totally. So we're going to have uh, a spread on them. We are a, uh, you know, a spread and showing their advice and what they want, what's coming in for them, right? Uh, what's What they're putting in the past, what they're focusing on, and also uh, what they're expecting, their hopes and fears and how they feel about you, Sagittarius, right? Uh, we're also going to uh, have another spread on your person. And we're going to have an oracle spread on them, like we always do. And let's see here. Let's see what cards we're going to use today. Today we're going to use uh, the Moonology cards, right? We have a few Moon cards here, uh, but we're going to choose to use these cards here. This is just how we're doing it today. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius' person. Uh, because we start the reading here, we end it in the other reading, right? Yeah, we do. For Sagittarius's person, we have luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So, you know, I feel like we had a full moon or a new moon in Sagittarius uh, around the end of November, I believe. Uh, could have been early December. I don't remember. Maybe even, yeah. But, you know, uh, most likely because that is uh, the season of Sagittarius, right? But, you know, when we see the bow here, the bow and arrow, and this is about uh, the wheel of fortune and good luck. That's what this is about. Luck is on your side. This is about expansion. And this is their card, right? What's challenging your person or, or, uh, or supporting them is going to be, it's time to take action. I said this earlier. I said, they feel like time's running out and I don't know where I got that from or why I was thinking that, but, uh, it's fine. Probably showing up here, uh, in the reading and I don't remember wh which card. Let's see. Uh, this is the new moon in Aries. So Aries is about taking action because it is the fool, right? And this is what uh, Mars is about taking action. It's a very physical, uh, a physical sign here, right? Aries. And so uh, this is supporting them. They know it's the right time, but it's challenging them. They're thinking, well, I know it's the right time, but if I don't go now, the window could close. Yeah, no window remains open forever. That's just, there's no way right? Yeah. If somebody tells you you have an open opportunity to go see them, it's different if it's your friend, but if it's a lover, uh, and you know, you contact them later, Oh, I got married. Uh, no, no, no more open opportunities, right? Let's see what we have. And, uh, why it's all happening for your person is believe in the impossible, the blue moon. So that's what they're doing. Uh, we're going to use these cards as well. These other moon cards we are, I want to see how these kind of work out together. And this will be a 10 card spread. They're all super affordable. I have the link below in the description box. I uh, beg your pardon for the, uh, the audio yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here I am, Sagittarius, with the horn. And it, it sounds good, right, as the angel. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.